Hi, I'm Scott, a Henry Ford pharmacist, and I would like you to watch a short video that will provide instructions on how to use your inhaler properly. The inhaler prescribed contains the drug teotropium bromide. Your inhaler will have the same drug, but may be a different color than shown in this video. This inhaler is used to manage your COPD. The inhaler prescribed is used once a day and should be used around the same time each day. This inhaler should not be used to treat sudden symptoms of COPD and will not replace the need for a rescue inhaler. Get medical help right away or call 911 if your symptoms worsen or if you have difficulty breathing. To use this device, you will need to know the parts of the inhaler. Dust cap, mouthpiece, mouthpiece ridge, base, green piercing button, center chamber, air intake vents. To use this inhaler, you will need to separate only one of the blisters from the blister card, then open the blister and have the capsule ready to be placed in the inhaler device. Open the device and then the mouthpiece. Insert the capsule into the device and close the mouthpiece firmly against the base until you hear a click. Only use the capsules in the inhaler. Do not swallow the capsule. Press the green piercing button once until it is flat or flush against the base, then release. This makes a hole in the capsule to allow medication to come out when you breathe in. While holding the inhaler level, breathe out through your mouth as much air from your lungs as you can away from the mouthpiece. Then close your mouth around the mouthpiece. Keep your head in an upright position and breathe in slowly and deeply until your lungs are full. You should hear or feel the capsule you place in the device vibrate or rattle. Remove the inhaler from your lips and hold your breath for about 10 seconds or for as long as comfortable. Then breathe out through your nose slowly and calmly. You must repeat the inhalation steps again using the same capsule to ensure you're receiving the full dose for a total of two inhalations with just one capsule. After you've finished taking your daily dose, open the mouthpiece again, tip out the used capsule, and discard. Close the mouthpiece and dust cap for storage of the inhaler. During the inhalation step, if you did not feel the capsule rattle or vibrate, please contact your pharmacist or healthcare provider for assistance. Remember, please wait five minutes before using a different prescription inhaler and always ask your pharmacist which inhaler should be used first. The most common side effects are sore throat, cough, or dry mouth. Worsening of certain eye conditions can develop, so make sure to tell your eye doctor you are using this type of inhaler. Urinary retention may also occur, so let your doctor know if you are experiencing any problems going to the bathroom. Call your Henry Ford pharmacist regarding any side effects you may be experiencing to discuss further. Consult your doctor before stopping your medication. Thank you for taking the time to watch this instructional video. If you have further questions or feel you may have an issue that prevents taking this inhaler properly, please call the pharmacy number that is found on the prescription label. Please take advantage of the many resources Henry Ford Pharmacy has to offer to help make it easier for you to remember to take your medication. Your Henry Ford Pharmacist is available to answer any questions you have. Have a great day.